Hello, bye. Bye. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know you guys have a lot of questions and but we have a little time, so I will start by going down the list and hopefully, we can get through as many of them if not all of them. Make sure to subscribe and give us a like and drop a comment for us on issues you want us to address or talk about. Check out the Pi playlist for Pi videos that will help you along the way. Will there be a place in the app to see how much of the total supply is still available for mining? Yes, of course. There will be on Pi Block Explorer initially and maybe in the app later. There's already a place in the Pi Block Explorer called the Circulating Supply. From that, you can deduct everything else based on the updated white paper. Will the locked up pie be included in the circulating supply or not? Yes, based on our research so far, it seems that in other blockchains, any locked up balance is included in the circulating supply. Will the lockups have a countdown timer that pioneers can refer to see how much time the lockup will be in effect? Yes, the short answer is yes. There will be a list of all prior lockups and when they expire. In that list, you will be able to also see how they affect the calculation of the total lockup or boost. Suppose I am KYC'd and created a wallet three days back, but I forgot the private key and can't create a new wallet due to the one week limit. What if my Pi balance is transferred to that recently created wallet where I don't remember the private key? I guess the answer to this question is that because we'll have this confirmation, the person will just simply wait. Rather than if they lost the key, they have to wait for a week before they push the button to say, I want to transfer to the main net now. I want to start transferring to the main net now. If they lose the key to their wallet after they press the button, well, that's similar to losing it at any time in main net. But yeah, there will be a process for changing your wallet for future transfers. I want to make it clear. That's the nature of blockchain. Every good thing comes with its negatives. The fact that you have full control, non-custodial is that there is no other way for, like in the case of loss of keys. And what we can do, of course, is trying to design systems that try to prevent that. But the fact that it's a blockchain, comes with its benefits and its disadvantages. And a lot of people lost their Bitcoin because of their lost private keys. What can they do? They can't do anything. Of course, yeah. Will there be a notification that will let us know in advance about the upcoming balance transfer, so that pioneers can alter lock settings before the transfer is initiated and finalized in the main net wallet? Yeah. So we're thinking that there will be a button to initiate the migration as I mentioned earlier. After this button is pressed, then there will be continuous transfers that will be happening automatically based on the current lockup setting. The lockup setting can be changed as many times as you want before you push that button. Once you push that button, the first transfers will be happening whenever they're happening. Then if you are changing the lockup settings, the new transfers will be getting whatever the current lockup setting is. There will be no surprise in that respect. There are currently notifications to people on the Pi browser when you receive Pi. In the same way, you will receive Pi and you will receive a notification that says X amount of Pi arrived in your wallet. Go check it out. There will be a notification after the moment of transfer. Is the system geared up to only have one wallet for a pioneer or will we be able to define and use multiple wallets inside of the app? So the initial preference we have is to just have one for simplicity. But in the future, we can have multiple if we want. The design, I don't know if you remember, but historically, we initially had a different layout for passphrases and keys. One of the reasons we changed to this new system that uses passphrases is that with the same passphrase, you can have multiple wallets and you don't need to have multiple private keys. You can have multiple Pi wallets. You can even have Bitcoin wallets if you want. So essentially you can have whatever addresses you want with the same passphrase. And that's why we find this new system that we created a lot more powerful. So technically it is possible. Product-wise, let's get everyone to understand the system with just one wallet for now. And I'm sure in the years to come, there will be reasons for extending it and expanding it and all sorts of connectivities and for security, for privacy, whatever reasons, people will be able to potentially create more. But I don't want to promise that right now, it will all be a part of a product design. Will there be a place in the app to see how many KYC users we have in the community? Yeah, the answer is maybe. The wallets are publicly viewable on the blockchain anyways. 
so at least the strict subset of people who already migrated to the main net will be publicly accessible on the blockchain. So you just count how many wallets there are there. But we may come up with an even nicer UI, maybe somewhere in the app or on the main page that just displays the count. Maybe we'll have a page that displays the count of KYC pioneers, the count of nodes, the count of people with different things, the amount of pi locked, and different stuff. But in the worst case scenario just looks at the blockchain and it's there. When and how will the KYC validator receive pi rewards? The short answer is when we know how much these rewards need to be. But let me explain and clarify. So at the moment, we're asking pioneers to pay one pi as the cost of their KYC process. Now, this one pi needs to cover several validation steps that were taken by multiple people. So it's not enough that one validator says, yes, this is the correct one. It has to be at least several. There's an algorithm that decides based on how much they agree with each other and who agrees and the previous history of its validator. Thanks for watching this video and supporting my channel by giving me a like, dropping me a comment, and subscribing to enjoy more exciting updates also.